Hey, welcome back. Alex and Hamish uh, are DIY experts for the weekend. Today we are talking wind and solar energy. We are. Mm. Okay, let's start with solar. Well, um, the solar's been around a long time now and it's becoming progressively cheaper and cheaper to install. But there's quite a lot you need to know about it because you might see offers where it's particular discounts and prices and so forth, but not every solar panel is the same. And Hamish has been through this experience because he's got solar at his batch. I do, I have solar and wind um, because it was a combination uh, approach to the situation. Let's face it, I actually saw the wind turbine and fell in love and then was told that you should actually have both. Good right. call. I heard you talking about your wind turbine before and you're yep. getting quite obsessive about it. Well, it's quite ar architecturally stunning. It is. I it's mean, good. This is the thing. Okay, uh, to wrap up a bit more on solar for you, um, there are many different types of solar out there. Some are in roof tiles. Um, some obviously fit up onto the roof. I chose because I had space not to break my roof line with it and built a freestanding frame on the ground. So you can do that. You don't have to have it on the roof as long as it points in the correct direction. Right. Uh, and distance from I your like property that. is key too if you are going to put it on the ground the further away you put it, the more it costs you for a bigger cable to get it to the house. Right. Because you're going to lose power through that cable. Yep. Okay. So cheap, small cable, going to lose so much power, it's kind of not worth it. So you, you need to do the investment and you okay. need to get the right solar panels with the right power. Is Hamish doing his work there? Yeah, he, digging, he actually, yeah, he, he actually your own holes. He dug a hole. I, uh, did, I, I, know, three. I, I dug about 12. Yeah. Those solar panels on the ground like that, when I was on the Gilly Islands off uh, the coast of Lombok, they had those everywhere. I don't know how much power you actually get from them, though. How much do you well, get? If you look at one of those panels and one of the wind turbines is enough to power the lights in your house and a kettle. Boil so, the kettle continually, yeah. in other words. Oh, okay. So it's it's a relatively decent no, it's a relatively decent amount of power that comes out of these things. So it's you can see what Hamish has got. He's got a big bank of them. And I have twelve. Panels. It's pretty over wow. the top. I know. Wow. I know. But the most exciting thing, of course, is the wind turbine. Now, um, when I first thought I would like a wind turbine, I looked around, I rang the first company, and um, the man told me it was $50,000. I almost cried. And then he asked, um, how many houses will you be running? And I went, sure, I'm not building a small commune. <laughs> but so but that was one of the big tower ones. And that was not a giant one, that was a middle-sized one. I went to the home show, yeah. actually, for the first time ever for myself. Really? I was building. Oh. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, as often I go because I have to, and, but for me. I walked around the corner, and there was a company called Dynamic there Energy, is. and they make a corkscrew turbine. Mine. Like that one there, yeah. Yes. Now the great thing about that is um, that it's quieter, so you don't have the big blades going womp, womp, womp. It's more cost effective, it's smaller. It was around three and a half thousand, something like that for the, the unit right. itself. Uh, you can get any colour you want to because they can paint them. Bing. Oh, Who doesn't nice. want to do that? I went with black because I'm original. Right. Uh, <laughs> with a black pole. But I treated it like a piece of sculpture. Rather than trying to hide it away, you could do it. I probably wouldn't put them all in a row, but I could see a grouping of, say, three at slightly different heights and create your own wind sculpture. Particularly if you're in an area like where I've put mine in, which has a constant breeze running. Okay, and I guess something like that is also good when you've got, um, when there they are there, when you've got, um, if you're in a, like a neighbourhood with other people around, you can't have that noise from a yeah. wind thing. You just got to get... You could literally have it in your backyard. Yeah, it's wow. a domestic okay. thing. You, it goes on a two metre pole and that's yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. I, I yeah. wanted to ask you quickly about uh, finance. You know, is it worth putting in solar and wind energy into your house if you're redeveloping, if you're renovating, or you want a different source? Well, the thing about yeah. it is, it is an expensive thing to do. It's way cheaper than it used to be, but it is still quite expensive. So you're not going to necessarily do it because you're instantly going to not have power bills and you're going to save all this money because it's going to take you quite a long time, it's like 10 years to save on the power to pay for the thing. Hamish <laughs> and Alex, thank you so much. It's been thank a pleasure. You. If you want more information, go to thecafe.co.nz.